Shalom, sister. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to you. How about Shem, my Shem, like I was shy. And I just wanted to do the Lord willing, sisters had a beautiful Sabbath, a restful, edifying um, Shabbat. Um, now we are in a new week. It is now Sunday. You know, new day is at sundown. So I'm praying that sisters are setting weekly goals. You know, striving to be better women than they were last week. You know, just striving to be a better servant of the Most High. Yeah, you know, about Shai. And as always, air is wicked and proven. I mean, we're thankful that the Most High is allowing us to, is showing us the airs need to improve. And before we get started, I want to get these foundational scriptures first. We're going to go to First Peter 4 and 11. It's going to be a screen recording video, obviously, because I am laying down i did not feel like setting up all my video material <laughs> so first peter 4 and 11 what happened first peter 4 go okay i'll have time for this all right then sorry y'all there we go if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Yahweh give. That Yahweh in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to whom be praised the men forever and ever. Amen. So, you know, everything we say, it should be of the most high, not of our own belly, not of our emotions, because us women are emotional beings, but we have to put that aside and it's always thus of the Lord. So that the Most High Yahweh by Shema Shalom be glorified at the end of the day. So we want to speak to organs of the Most High because everything we do and say is of the Lord. It's of the Most High that we're able to do any of these things. It's of the Most High that I'm even able to come on this video and have knowledge with my understanding to bring out these precepts, understand what it's going into. That's of the Most High Yahweh by Shema Shai. Everything is of Him. So we want to praise the Most High. And this is Hebrews 10 and 24. And let us consider one another unto love. And let us consider consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. So that's why sisters are doing videos so that we may provoke one another unto good works. So this video is going to be a testimony, um, something that happened recently through Spirit, um, and just a faith exhortation. The sister Moathia did a beautiful faith exhortation about three weeks ago. I watched that thing like three times. This is really something we need to have in these last days. But before I start off, I want to get this verse. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, however thou shalt be, and it shall be well with thee. So when we fear the Most High, we're going to reap. We're going to get blessed. We're going to be good. It's going to be well with us. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine houses. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. So blessed is that woman, that sister, that brother, that man, that family that's fearing the Most High, that's doing what's pleasing to his sight, in his sight, that's walking in his ways, that's moving upright. It's going to be well with you. So to the testimony, for sisters that don't know, I attended Texas Southern University, HBCU in Houston last year for a year. I went in August and I finished in May and I took a break. Um, I'm taking a break right now, but I've recently been wanting to go back to school. I originally was going to drop out and never go again, but the most high through the spirit, I was on a WFI sisters call like last year and they told me not to drop out because I could use my talents. I, you know, I could use that degree, my talents to help the nation and they were right. And that's something the most high allowed me to realize, you know, it's bigger than me. And I really do want to go and um, get this degree, um, not only for my nation, but for my household as well use these talents so anyways um i wanted to go back to school and um i couldn't I, you, you know you have to in order to apply to a college you have to have a transcript especially when transferring and so i couldn't apply to this college that i wanted to go to without my transcript well i couldn't get my transcript because it was on hold my transcript was on hold because of an outstanding balance of oh no i hope it didn't go away good um, one thousand six hundred ninety-six dollars and sixty-five cents. Y'all look at the date. This was December of twenty twenty-two. It's December. Cause I emailed them and I said, "How do I get my transcript?" And he said, "To get an official transcript, you need to pay this balance." I'm like, uh, uh. 
Okay, at the time I was working and um, I'm still working, but I that was the last thing on my mind. Like I had enough going on. I was not trying to worry about paying that balance. I was like, oh my goodness. But, um, you know, of course, Satan, he came and hopped on me, been in this flesh, but I had to rebuke. And I prayed on it. I gave it to the Most High because that's not something I can do by myself. That's not something that I was designed. Like, it's just that was the least of my worries. Like, I had enough going on. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to let this at the, I'm gonna lay this at the Lord's feet and let go and let you howl. So I did pray on it, and I prayed that the balance would become zero. But I felt silly asking for that because, just being honest, I felt silly asking for that because I was like, now how that's going to happen? But I had to rebuke myself and Satan. I was like, nah, uh I said the Lord could do, I literally said that in my prayer, I said, you could do anything. The Lord could do anything. And that's what we're going to get into. The most I could do anything. I'm pretty sure I'm already spoiling the testimony because if we're going to get there. But, um, yeah, so the this is the balance. And I don't have a screenshot of the balance now but i do have something else to show y'all so yeah this is proof that i have this outstanding balance and so the most high i would think about it every now and then i'll be like you know it's about march now so that's not something i was praying on every single day but it was something i prayed on a few months ago and i just honestly kind of forgot about it but the most high will have me think about it like dang like if i'm trying to get back into school i gotta you know faith that works is dead i'm praying it i'm praying that you know this balance go away and I'm praying that I can get back into school, but I need to try to have a game plan. Um, I need to set something up so I can pay it out, you know, like come up with a payment. Like what I'm trying to say is I was trying to tell myself I needed to come up with a payment plan so I could um, pay my balance off. Next screenshot. So I asked him, could I enroll in a payment plan to pay the balance off or it needs to be paid in full? And he said, you can make payments, but you would not be able to. Um, register until the balance is 500 less. So I couldn't get my transcript until it was $500 or less. So I still have to pay a good amount of money. Okay, so I think it was about two weeks ago, I was at work talking to my coworker and we were just talking about balances or whatever, like school and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Let me go check my balance to see how much it is so I can, you know, come with a game plan to pay it off so I can go get back into school. And so the most high, he actually put in my spirit to check my balance two days prior when I tried to, it wouldn't load. So I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And not going to lie, y'all, all throughout this process while I'm praying, I would check the balance frequently. Like, I would check the balance every now and then, and it would still be, like, almost $1,700. And I'd be like, okay, it's just not zero yet. Like, I would literally tell myself, it's not at zero yet. Like, I literally believed that it would be zero one day. Like, it was just a faith that the Lord had in me. I was like, okay, not zero yet. And I would just keep it pushing. Like, I wouldn't be mad. I would be sad. I, it's like my, like my spirit knew one day that balance was going to be zero. It's like I wasn't tripping. Sooner or later, it was going to be zero. And that was just the spirit of the most high. So, one, yeah, me and, my, me and his sister was talking at work. And I was like, let me go check my balance real quick so I can see, you know, um, if I need to do this payment plan or whatever. And so I, it was zero, y'all. I'm not even lying. It was zero. It was zero dollars. <laughs> I was about to scream at that. I was like, oh, my God. I was so happy. I was ecstatic. I wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping, so I called the school myself. I said, hi, is this student accounting? He's like, yes. I was like, hi, my name is Mackenzie. You know, um, I had a balance of like $1,700, and I was saying zero. I just wanted to make sure and see what it's saying on y'all in. He was like, yes, yes, ma'am. You received a grant the other day, and they covered your balance, and it's zero. I was like, what? <laughs> God, like, how about showing us like how a shy man? I was so turned. So here we see the balance hit on the grant hit on March 27, 2023, and it covered the amount of $1,696.65. And so, yeah, that's what it is, and that's what's up. And I was trying to, so yeah, that grants, and I don't even know what a gear CRU grant is. Like, what is even that? What is that? Y'all know the Lord was looking out, though. I had a lot of grants when I was in college. Like, he was looking out. I had another testimony that I posted in September, how I had an outstanding balance, and I had to pay it before my the feast day of Tabernacles. It was due, like, on the feast day or something. I can't remember exactly the details. The testimony is somewhere down in September, but the Lord came through the grant, like, the day before or something like that. The Lord really has been working in my life, and I'm very, very thankful. All person most high, but yeah, y'all see, that's proof right there that that grant here, and I'm not making this up. And now let me show you my zero balance. Hold on.
Okay, let's look at this balance, y'all. Zero dollar. Zero dollar. Y'all, this number used to say 1696.65. It's zero dollars now. It's that grant covered it. So call a how about Shamal Shamal like how shy? The most high, he really hears our cry. When you serve him with all your heart, your mind, your soul, you keeping him first, you doing as well as his sight. The Lord is going to look out for you. And that's what we're going to get into this video. So now that we got the testimony out of the way, we're going to get into this faith exhortation, okay? So back to Psalms 128 and 1. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shall thy be, and it shall be well with thee. So when you're walking in the ways of the Most High, it's going to be well with you. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, so now let's get Psalms 119. I'm going to just, some of these precepts are going to be pretty repetitive, but I just want to go over through the Spirit. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. So blessed are those sisters, those brothers that are undefiled. They're undefiled from this world. They're not in the cares of this world. They're not in the lust of this world. They're not doing this world. Do they're walking in the law of the Most High? They're keeping these laws, such commandments of the Most High. Blessed are those brothers and sisters. The Most High is going to make a way. Blessed are they that keep His testimonies and that seek Him with the whole heart. So blessed are you sisters. That is enduring in this walk, that's keeping the law, statute, of commandments, that's going even when your flesh is telling you not to go, that's reading, that's studying, and praying, and fasting, that's doing as well, pleasing unto the Most High, overcoming temptations when Satan wants you to smoke that blunt, when Satan wants you to go back to your old world, to your old self, your old friends, when Satan wants you to go back to the old woman that you used to be, and you keep fighting, blessed are you that's enduring, that's keeping these testimonies, these that's seeking the most out with your whole heart and not seeking the cares of this world. Blessed are those sisters. So what it said Psalms one Psalms one twenty eight said, Blessed are those that fear the Lord. Okay, but what is the fear of the Lord? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy's understanding. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So when you fear the Lord, that's when you get wisdom. Fearing the Lord is having wisdom, and you only have wisdom when you're keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. So when you fear the Lord by keeping His commandments and fear Him of the judgment He'll send if we don't, we gain wisdom, and wisdom keeps us on a straight path and preserves us as Proverbs 4 and 3 speaks of. So now we're going to go to John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. So that is what fear of the Most High is, fearing, fearing the Most High. And loving the Most High is keeping His laws, statutes, and commandments. And we understand that the law is not done away with. So, as sisters, we have to make sure you so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, we have to make sure that we're keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High and loving Him because love is an action word, as First John three and eighteen say. A lot of us, we grew up in a Christian church, a Catholic church. We grew up in religion, or some of us were atheists growing up. You know, just in madness. And all praise the Most High, He delivered us out of that. But you know, we didn't truly love the Most High. We didn't know what love was. We didn't really love nobody. Because in order to love your brother, you have to love the Most High first. And you learned that in First John. And we used to go to the church and, you know, we used to say we love God and all that. But we weren't keeping his commandments. But love is an action where you have to show someone you love him. How do you show the Most High you love him? By keeping his commandments and doing what he asks of us. You know, so it's like when you when your parents are telling you to do something and you do it, they're gonna give you a award. They're gonna give you. They're gonna give you your 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 chore money, or they're gonna um take you to the movie you've been wanting to see, or they're gonna take it to skating rink because you fear to because you you uh, you you do the commandments of your parents. So like you, you listen to your parents. That's the same thing with the Most High. When we keep His commandments and we do what He's asking us, He's gonna look out for us. He's gonna reward us. You know, He's gonna give us the desires of our heart and righteousness. Psalms 15 and 13, 115 and 13, he will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. So no matter what type of status you got, when you fear in the Most High, he's going to bless you. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. So the Most High is going to increase us more and more when we fear him. You are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Hmm. It's powerful. All these pretty much say the same thing. I just think they're beautiful, and I want to bring them out. 
can't never get enough of these words of life. Psalms 121, 112 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. And we know that the most high, he repeat himself a lot. So this is just like, this is proof. Like the most high is not a liar. Numbers 23 and 19, the most high is not a liar. Everything that he said has going to pass and will going to pass. The most high is not a man that he should lie. So the most high, he has, he sometimes he got to repeat himself because we just don't get it sometimes. And he just got to repeat himself to show like, I, I what I say is true. What I say is real. You know, so blessed is that brother, that sister that's fearing the most high, that delights in his commandments. Blessed are these sisters. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. I want to read that all together, not like that. Praise you the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delight of greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. So when you fearing the most high again and keeping his commandments again, you're going to be blessed. You're going to have wealth and riches. And blessings aren't just physical. You know, it can be rich in knowledge, wisdom, understanding, rich in patience, rich in talents. I mean, you got a lot of talents. You know, and then it can be physical on a carnal level as well. So blessings are not always um, physical. You know, the most I can bless you with uh, more patience. The most I can bless you being rich in the fruits of the spirit. You know, rich in, you know, a lot, knowing a lot of precepts. You never know what the most I. This is Tobit 4 and 24. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor, for thou hast much wealth. If thou fear Yahweh and depart from all sin and do that which is pleasing in his sight. So again, we are rich and we are we we are much wealth when we fear the most high, depart from sin and do what's pleasing in his sight. So sisters, when you as and every sister just watching this video, Lord willing, y'all are keeping these commandments. So if you keeping the commandments and doing what's pleasing unto the most high, you don't have nothing to worry about, sis, because the most high said, For thou has much wealth. You got much wealth. You good. The most high gonna make sure you're okay. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, let's go to Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Let me start at 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper with a servant thou goest. Mm. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then I shall make thy way prosperous, and then I shall have good success. So when you're not turning away from this law, you know, when you're not going back into the lust of this flesh, going back into the cares of the world, when you're staying in these laws, that's the commandments, you observing on it, you keeping it day in and day out. You're going to have a prosperous and successful journey in life. Most of us going to make sure you're good. Your, your way is going to be prosperous. You're going to have good success. Whatsoever you, you set out to do is going to prosper through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai. Jeremiah 17 and 7 through 9 was like, blessed is 17, 7 through 8. You know, when we trust the Most High, we're going to be like that tree and that leaf that don't wither. So when we keeping the commandments of the Most High, we're going to be good, you know. This is Tobit 1 and 12. Let me go to it. Because I remember Yahweh with all my heart, and the Most High gave me grace and favor before any minister so that I was his purveyor. So the Most High, he can show us grace and favor all because, you know, we're keeping him first and keeping his laws such commandments. The Most High can show grace and favor unto you in captivity when you're doing what's well, pleasing unto him. You know, he can soften your co-worker's heart to, you know, look out for you. He can soften your manager's heart. He can soften your director's heart or whatever the case may be. He can soften people's heart in the workplace, at your school. You know, he can have people working on your behalf. Like, um, I I'm, I was trying to get these fringes at Hobby Lobby. And so I had called the store. It's a Hobby Lobby from like five minutes from my house. And so um, 
they didn't have the stuff I needed on sale though. Like they didn't have it in stock. So like it. And so, um, hold on y'all. So um y'all, I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm over here watching my the video that I just posted and I forgot to finish telling y'all the testimony. That was Satan distracting me. But kind of so I was trying to get these fringes from Hobby Lobby, but and there's a Hobby Lobby like five minutes down from my house, but they didn't have it in stock. So I called the other one that was like twenty five minutes away because I didn't want to drive out there and they ain't have it. And it's, she sounded like a sister and she had told me that it was like a it was like a lot of fringes for sale on the clearance wall and she was going to put them up for me until I got there. And I told her I was like 30 minutes out because I was at work and because of traffic. So I probably won't be there to about 30 minutes. But end up, I ain't even I ain't even go into the store to about an hour later because I was on the phone with a sister. But I got in there and I didn't even see the fringes. She said she was going to put them on the counter. And so I went back there and I said, hey, excuse me, do I have these um in stock? And she's like, I put them up for you. And y'all, she like had them hid. Like she pulled them out of a box hid. And Laura Willen, I'm gonna insert a clip, but y'all, these she gave me like a whole eight yard of fringes for seven dollars. This usually would have been like thirty to forty dollars. So that just goes to show the most high he can work on our behalf, all because of our obedience. Like the most high really looked out. Even the stuff that seems that's 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 so called small, like even in just daily things like that, the most high Somebody the most softening the most somebody the most softening somebody hard to look out for you, to pay for your food, anything like, um, and there was a time where the most high softened his sister heart to help me pay for my groceries. Like the most high really has looked out, and the most high is faithful, and it's calling how about your I just wanted to share that like, you know, the most high he can do anything, and you know he can really show favor and just put it on people's spirit to help us because of our obedience and our faith. So kind. So, Khan, I got all these fringes for $7, and this usually would have been like 30 to 40 So, Carly, how about Shema Shah? But, Khan, you know, when we um, remember the Most High with all our heart, we're not forgetting about what the Most High requires of us. You know, you might, you know, the Most High might put us in position. You know, he might really bless us in a line of captivity. And when you remember him with all your heart, you know, you're not forgetting about the Most High. Even if you know the, you're not in a high position, when you remember the Most High with all your heart and you're doing what he's, required, he's requiring of us, he can give us grace and favor and look out for us and, you know, soften the heart of these heathens in this captivity. And that's also uh, Jeremiah 15 and 11. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. So the Most High, he can put the spirit on the heathens to entreat us well, to make sure we're good, you know, to look out for us, although they're heathen, but the Lord... Everything is our Lord. So the most I can put on a healing spirit to, you know, look out for us, and especially on our Helbert Glutes and Jacob's Trouble. Okay, we're going to Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. We know that these heathens are our enemies. So when we please the Lord by keeping his law, such commandments, the most high can make our enemies at peace with us so again you know like look at our forefather joseph he was put in a very high position he was a governor you know not only was he a governor um to help his his people but also because he feared the most high that he served the most high he was a faithful servant to the most high when he was faced with temptation he fleed up out of there he could have chose to give into his flesh and lay it with another man's wife. But Joseph, he feared the Most High greatly. He fleed up out of there. So how much more us, when we fear the Most High greatly and fleeing from temptation and fleeing from the cares of this world and lust of the flesh, the Most High going to make a way for us. You know, he can make our enemies at peace with us. You know, the Most High, he can, he can show us favor. Joseph was the governor. You know, um, who else was put in a high position? Judith, no, Esther. Esther was put queen. She was put in a high position to help her nation. So the Most High, he can really put us in these high positions. And that's what me and Sister Lily was going into on our talents. So like on our, does get a degree, can you still get a degree and start the Most High? We talked about, on our, talked about that on our podcast. So Lowell and Sister can check that out if y'all haven't. Because the Most High could put us in these high positions just to help allow us to help our nation and because of our obedience and our diligence and our faith like um like joseph like joseph through the spirit so since we know what pleases the most high keeping his laws Dutch commandments what doesn't please the most high let's get it without faith but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that come unto yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him hebrews 11 and 6. So it's impossible to please the Most High without faith. So what doesn't please the Most High is when you don't have faith. When we come to the Most High, we must believe that He is. We must believe that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. 
we must believe who our God is and that he can do anything and that nothing is too hard for the Most High. That's what that means. We must believe and know who the Most High is and know that he is a God that can do anything. Hebrews 11 and 1, what is faith? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is things that we hope for. We don't see none of these things we pray for. We don't see it. You know, we didn't see the miracles of Yahweh Basham Shah. We didn't see Yahweh Shah in person, but we believed. We believed in the miracles. We haven't seen none of these things that happen in the Bible. We haven't seen a Red Sea coming. We didn't see the Red Sea uh become um become dry. We didn't see the waters come up as a wall. We didn't see the Red Sea be split. We didn't see the Most High overthrow our enemies with the Red Sea when the when it when it was done being split and in the wall. We didn't see Yahweh Shah heal. We didn't see the apostles do healing, the disciples. We didn't see them do healing. We didn't see the chariots. We didn't see people getting raised up from the dead. We didn't see none of these things, but we believe. We believe because we believe in the Most High. We believe who he is. We believe he's not alive. We believe in his words. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians 5 and 7. We walk by faith, not by sight. We haven't seen none of these things, but we believe because of our faith. We walk by faith. So let's get Jeremiah 32 and 17. Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched our arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. And Jeremiah 32 and 17, 27 say the same thing. Behold, I'm the Lord, the God of our flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? So there's absolutely nothing too hard for you. How about Hashem and Mashallah and Kabashai? The Most High can literally do anything. The Most High, He can He can have your light bill paid. The Most High have my balance go from seventeen hundred to zero. He can have your balance do that as well. He can have your light bill paid. Oh shoot! I'm sorry, y'all. He can have that light bill paid. He can have that bill paid. Ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. He can do anything, literally anything. The Most High can do anything, y'all. Anything. He can turn. He can have them lights on. He can have food on your table. He can have clothes on your back. Whatever you're worrying about, whatever you're stressing about, you don't have to worry because the Most High already made a way. The battle's already won. Exodus 14 and 14, the Lord shall fight for you. You shall hold your peace. You know, so whatever you, you know, you praying about, whatever obstacle has came your way, the Most High is going to make a way for you because he's not a man and he should lie. He keeps his promise. So when we do our part and we're keeping these laws, the commandments, the Most High, he does his part. He, he, he looks out for us. So there's nothing too hard for the Most High. He can do anything, literally anything. He can He can pay that outstanding balance. He can He can figure He can figure out that situation that you've been stressing about. He can He can do those things. The Most High literally can do anything. I cannot stress it enough. Psalms 37 and 25. I've been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. So David said, hey, he's been young and he's been old with gray hair. But one thing that he ain't never seen is a righteous forsaken. So when you're being upright and doing what's well pleasing to the Most High, you are not going to be forsaken. You are going to be okay. You won't have to bed. You don't got to worry about nothing. The Most High got your back. And then that makes me want to go to Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise the card upon him? So did ever any trust in the Lord was confounded? No. So when you trust in the Most High, have faith, you ain't finna be confounded. When you fear in him, you, he, you're not finna be forsaken. When you call upon him, you, he ain't finna despise you. So as long as you trust in the Most High, keeping his law, and commandments, fearing him, you're not going to be left out hanging. You ain't going to be left out to dry. The Most High got you. And now we're going to go to Matthew 17 and 20. Not 29, y'all. 20. And Yahweh shall said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall send to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So, so if you have faith, a grain of a mercy, see, you can do it by any, you can do anything. A little faith goes a long way. A little faith is better than no faith. If you have small, if you have faith better than, if you have faith, 
If you have faith, you could do anything. So how much more the Lord? The Lord can do anything. We need to have faith, y'all. Faith. A mustard seed. A mustard seed is so tiny. It truly is. Let me see. A mustard seed is so small, y'all. Look at that. Probably even smaller than that. As long as you got a little bit of faith. A little faith is better than no faith. But let's try to have a lot of faith, like this is Mawathia said. Because we've the most I has worked in our lives way too many times for us to still be lacking faith. There's no way we should still be lacking faith. We have to do better, sisters. We have to. And I know that Satan be hopping on us, but there's no way. Absolutely no way. I know. There's no way we should be lacking faith. You got to rebuke that in the name of your Habashim Ashai. Because the Lord has never forsaken us. He's always made a way. Hebrews 3 and 19. So we, can, so we see that they cannot enter in because of unbelief. So it's very important to have faith in these last days because our foremothers and our forefathers, they weren't able to enter the promised land because of the unbelief. And if you're not believing in this sin, Romans 14 and 23. Let me get that. And he that doubted is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So it's sin. You're going off and breaking the law, statute, commandments when you don't have faith in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So we need to really pray on this, because faith is a spirit. Everything is spiritual. Everything is a spirit. You know, so if you want something, ask. You know, I, I really recommend sisters to watch that faith exhortation system and what they did. It was so beautiful through the spirit. Really been meditating on this, and I wanted to do this video like when it when this when it first happened, <clears throat> but it just wasn't of the Lord, you know. I had to just really just get some precepts and meditate on it. But the Most High, He is faithful. He's a just, faithful God. You know, He looks out for His servants. So, sisters, we need to stop lacking faith and doubting because it's honestly it's unacceptable. And it's, it's unacceptable. We should not be doubting the Most High. He has done so much for us. We need to meditate. And recall all the good that he's done unto us. This is James 1 and 6. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So when you come to the Most High, you can't be having faith one minute. Like, I can't come to the Most High and be like, yeah, that balance can be paid off. And then the next minute, I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. I ain't gonna never be able to go back to school. Like that's double minded. That's wavering. If you're wavering, faith woman, and you believe next minute you don't, you're not gonna get it. You ain't gonna get none. And the Most High, of course, He has mercy. He has mercy on the Most High is merciful, but don't tempt the Lord. So that's really all I had. Oh, I got one more. I got one more, y'all. It's one of my favorite precepts ever. First John three and twenty tweet. Twenty. I said twenty tweet. <laughs> twenty two. So like it. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. So whatever you ask in the name of Yahweh Shai, you will receive it because you keep the commandments and you do what's pleasing in his sight. So with that, I want to say, call a Yahweh Shai, sister, 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 sisters. As long as you keep in the commandments, and doing what's pleasing in sight, whatever you ask, you're going to receive. Please meditate on faith and ask the most high for faith in these last days. I have a prayer on faith on my website. Just type in faith. It will pop up, most high willing. Study these verses on faith because the times we're coming in, if we don't have faith now, how are we going to have faith in Jacob's trouble and our hell break loose? So we want to really ask the most high to give us the spirit of faith. So that we continue to tell the Lord when we can please the Most High by moving in the spirit of faith. Because the Most High can do anything and nothing is too hard for him. My balance was 1696 and $0.65 and now it's zero. And now I can go back to school, Lord willing. So call a how about my shot? The Lord can do it for me. He can do it for you too. He can bring that balance zero. He can take care of your bills. The Lord shall fight for you. shall hold your peace. So just continue to do as well. Please to the Most High. And the Most High going to look out for you. You have nothing to worry about. You know, so Lord willing, y'all have a good week. Call it. How about Shema Shah? Lord willing, this video helps somebody. I love y'all. Repent for not having faith. Or rebuke that spirit and ask for faith and meditate on these precepts. So call it. How about Shema Shah? Shalom. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. He can do literally anything. Literally.